morning, Uncle. I thought I already had a child to look after. Well, you weren't doing so well with him, so God gave you a second chance. <laughs> Two children now. All right, John. Oh, I'd help, but my back ain't so good. Of all the folks I could have run into. Hey, <laughs> you're a lucky man, John. <laughs> you were blessed. Blessed. Is that the word? I'll let you get on with it, John. Hey, whatever your name was. Rufus. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. I guess I didn't expect it to be so far.
This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Well, suck it, Dad! Don't swallow it! Are you sucking? Well, spit it out! No! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing! Sometimes... Sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son.
Chosen. Blessed are the goats, for they shall be the meek of human kindness, I think. Now see, this is why I don't venture too far from the road. I am exploding with joy, and you can too, literally explode. Because with everything I know, I am literally the happiest man alive. Hey, mister. Hello there. Hi. Many are called, but few are chosen. Blessed are the goats, for they shall be the meek of human kindness. I think. You say so. Oh, I do. I really do. It's time to embrace joy with me, Reverend Peter Fotheringham, as I will lead you to paradise where we can spend eternity together. Where the hell are you, you damn swindler? Bunk all along, didn't you? Hey, you, I need a hand here. This damn con man sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. Yep. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, which way to go? Not sure. I reckon he's hiding in town somewhere. I'll keep looking here. You if you can check the other side of the river. <laughs> What's that smell? Hey there. Sell any miracle cures lately? Hear that rhino horn is real hard to come by. Shh. I get it. I get it. Just keep it down, will you? That limp dick sent you here, didn't he? He's a vile man. I did the women out here a favor. Don't tell them I'm wrong. Here, yeah, yeah. please. Oh, God. Oh, well. Well, any luck? Your swindler's waist deep in shit over behind the woodworks. Okay. I'm gonna make him drown in that shit hole. We got a problem here. You must be excited. About to set right a great moral wrong and all. You mess with the man, you meet the boy. Oh, to chalk your pecker off, you goddamn buckle artist! No, 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 no! Uh, wait, wait, wait! Mm, I mm, worked for the other customer, I swear! Did you take it like I said? Shut your bone oh, box! Oh, Right on the horn, my ass! You sold me hard tech in a bottle! Stay the hell away from me! I don't deserve the end! How do you like that? Christ! 
Chief ain't right. What? I can never thank you enough. <laughs> oh, well, coming out. Remember, everyone, I'm your elected official, your mayor, and you elected me on a ticket of probity as well as democracy. <laughs> this is a fair town, and a nice town, and a proper town, and as such, it's a town for fair and nice and proper people. This is Strawberry, West Elizabeth, and I'm your mayor. And you're my... our citizens. And you'll be fair and proper and like-minded, or we will not tolerate you in our town. Hi. Hello, sir, and welcome to Strawberry. Please, make yourself at home, but treat our town with respect. Thank you. It's a magnificent little community we are building here. Almost Tolstoyan, if you know what that means. I don't. Well, neither do I, but it sounds very interesting. And we love interesting people. Please, make yourself at home, but be nice. I may only be the mayor of a small town, but trust me, there is no finer job in this world. I am doing God's work. I am shaping life and raising the level of civilization in our region. Partner. Hello. Thank you for keeping us all safe. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Look at you. Bart Cavanaugh. He's one of them boys down from Laramie. They say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know hired guns when I see him. Laramie? I'm acquainted with some of those fellas. Yeah, mayor's got a strange tolerance. But this one's gone too far. He's up north of here, the other side of the mountain. Tell me about this bounty. What's his charge? Intimidation, the destruction of property, violent assault. But they're all things we turn a blind eye to now if you're from those parts. Or so I'm instructed. Okay. Why are we after this fella then? Bart Cavanaugh got fresh with the wrong girl. A cattleman's daughter. He's what you'd call an example to the rest. Indeed. I guess I know my job then. However you can get him is how we'll take him. Happy hunting. Buddy! Hello. Look at that horse there. Thanks. It kick you in the face? That why you look like that? Blow it. Easy now.
to me. is a feller in his sleep. Thanks for making it so easy for me. Wish they was all as dumb as you. Anything happens to me, you're a dead man. And you heard of the Laramies? Oh yeah, we've met. They'll get me out, and when they do, we're real good at finding people. I really couldn't feel less intimidated by you, Bart. Ah, oh, <laughs> my stomach's turned something rotten. Can you take it easy? Nope. I really don't feel good. And I really couldn't care less. I think I'm going to be sick. <coughs> spill any of your guts on my horse. I'll spill yours on the ground. I'm just as fine taking you in dead. <coughs> That's better. Real charmer, ain't you? What were you fellas drinking anyway? Some hillbilly rot gut. It was real fun, till it wasn't. These ain't even my clothes. Last thing I remember, we caught a rat in a boot, and we're all pissing in it. <laughs> well, at least you can go to the gallows knowing you've led a full life, Bart. Oh, God, no. This boot's wet. It's coming back to me now. Sock full of piss. We're staying my life. And you saved the worst for last. You're real lucky I was indisposed. Yeah. I can only imagine you at your sharpest. Someone's here to see you, Sheriff. Bart Cavanaugh. Put him down in one of the cells. You know who I am, Sheriff? You know who's protecting me? I hope you're sweating, because you're going to feel it for this. It's your boss who got you brought in, you dumb bollock. Now shut up. This is the worst mistake you ever made. <clears throat> Money's there. I'm gonna take some comfort in seeing at least one of them Laramie boys meet justice. Take it if it helps you sleep at night, sh Obliged. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a tourist town, after all. You love giving me the worst jobs, don't you? What would give you that idea? <laughs> How about you take the shovel and, and I'll walk around lording over the manor for a bit, hmm? We all do our share. Uh -huh. You know that. You know, Pa, I wish I'd met your Pa. Trust me, you ain't missed much. I'm older than you was when he died, right? Yeah, don't worry. 
I ain't going nowhere. I wish it was you got snake bit, not the dog, Uncle. That snake's lucky I didn't bite it. If it does happen to you, you can suck your own poison out. Being a father ain't easy, son. You'll see that one day. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> Am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... Uh... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Come on, girl. You want to work? Let's do it. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither, but <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. 
long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Easy. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I've lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Whoa! Okay, I think I got it. Follow me. I'm better in town than in the back country, I guess. I think I see something. Is that a body? See if it's him. Crap. Ugh, well, that ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is he gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! <laughs> 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 He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. 
That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... <laughs> We always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But, I'm my own woman, and I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch, and your kid, and your wife shop. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes, and horses, and shiny new guns. Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Shoot! Yeah. <laughs> was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Yeah. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about it? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things, still mostly just whispers. Something real? You bring it to me. Oh okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Have you locked your senses? Here we are. Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, hit you. Hold. Good morning. Good morning. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you.
Just give me a drink, quick. Hope this is a nice break from the bustle out there. Say, you that feller who bought the land at Beecher's Hope? Oh, don't mean to pry. Rode out that way a day or two back. Just glad someone's doing something with it. Not easy land, I'm sure. Anyways, didn't mean to interrupt you. Best of luck with it all. No trouble. Great. Thanks. Hey. How can I help you? Yeah. Move, will you? Thank you so much.